What is up guys, Cards Across Texas here today and we are about to head on to Catalina Coffee. We got the 1500 horsepower 427 mid-mount twin turbo Z01 right behind me. 1500 horsepower at my disposal has been in a crazy experience and this is by far the most race car car I've ever driven in my entire life. Uh, but we're going to Catalina. It's more of a tame boy car show, but uh, there's always like tasteful stuff and cool cars, exotics, classics, and everything in between that come out to this. So let's get on down there. If you want one of these shirts, I got you a little secret. Shop Cars Across Texas between you and me, ends of the pup, 20% off. Shh, don't tell anybody. Link below. But uh, we're getting on with it. Y'all see what I mean? I ain't been nothing in this race car. Until the Z01. It's for sale if you want it. $70,000. You want to hear the tamest 1500 horsepower you've ever heard in your entire life? Yeah, I'd say it's quiet in the vet. That's what happens when your exhaust passes through two 76 millimeter turbos. Also, this car is like super streetable. Like it's it's really not an insane, crazy car to just cruise until you really mash on it. The Turbo 400 is probably the only thing that makes this car not a good daily driver. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you live in Midtown, you know this is not at all a race car friendly area. And you know what the most terrifying part is? I, I I'm so worried because these turbos are mid mounted and so big that I'm gonna like scrape them on something. So, uh, lesson learned. If you like race cars, stay out of Midtown. Alrighty boys, we have made it to Catalina. We got the 1500 horsepower Z01 here, parked up. Did some little turbo flutters on the way in and everything, but let's get this guy rolling in. Oh, tilty wheel boy coming in. And we got a puppy. Hello, my friends. All right, boys, like I said, we are here. We got the Z01 parked up behind us. We are here at a Catalina Coffee over there. We got the Audi boys here, little S4, slammed to the ground, and another Audi here, and another Audi there. But uh, let's get to checking it out. The show is a little smaller than it usually is today, but let's get to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they had that. Hey! Old <laughs> Wagoneer. But look, we got a nice little, this little Subi's pretty clean, dude. It's red with the carbon. Nice wheels, roll cage inside. Looking damn good. I like it. Disappeared, I won't be upset with you. And look, we got the puppy. Hello, my friend. We should have brought my puppy for you. You want to be rude? Look at this puppy. I pop in and out. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Puppy. Look, puppy. Hello, my friend. It's so you're weird. a real funny guy. I'm officially. <laughs> yeah. Should have brought my puppy for you, huh? That's some baller status right there. M5 competition, brand new, straight off the lot. We get the little blue, blue Porsche looking very cute out here. Very mint as well. Super well taken care of. Look at this interior. And of course, you got the Momo Corsa steering wheel. And I like that wooden carved shift knob. And then right behind him, we got the yellow E46 M3. This thing looks really good, actually. Typically not a big fan of yellow, but this car rocks it. Very nice. The cops, man, the two. They're coming for me. No. So here we got the blue 6th gen Z01 1 LE that parked up right behind the white 5th gen. Now all we need is a red Camaro, maybe even a red F body to park up right here and we got a little 4th of July photo shoot because today of course is the birthday of our great nation. God bless America, brother. 
Maybe we can get this man in the C6 Corvette to move over with us. So at least we have a red, white, and blue array of GM cars. This thing looks good though. Looks like he's on some CCWs in the back. A C7 headlights. There's a lot of cops here today. A very crucial part to these early morning car shows, man. You gotta get me my coffee, and thank goodness this is a Cars and Coffee. Baller mobile coming in hot. So we got the old Defender here. This thing is sick. Look at this, it's supercharged. It looks like a coyote swap. That's so sick. This thing is nuts. Jeez, carbon fiber everywhere. That's a crazy weave too. Got the old Apache here with the uh, American and Texas flags out back. God bless this great country. I guess he's rolling out. That thing is nuts, bro. <laughs> the road presence. Look at this, man. This E3325. Good Lord. This thing is freaking mint. Sheesh. Dude, this thing is mint. ISF. Very nice. We got a nice little STI here, but we turn around. Well, let me get up a little bit more. We turn around. We got a line of the 240 boys here. I get them all confused, so I'm just not even going to say anything specific about them, but little angle kits on a few of them. Looking good. I like this one the best, I think. Got the classic auto plates. Looking pretty stock, but pretty mint at the same time. This one is a... Uh, Definitely seen some sideways action here. He's got the fuzzy boot around his shifter. And then this one seems like a build in progress. A low boy, kitted out. Right hand drive, too. I like it. And then to round off the bunch, we got a 350Z. So we got the khaki Subi on the bronze wheels. Y'all like that? I think it's a pretty clean look. Something a little different than your typical Subi blue. We got the Volvo wagon. Got a little, got to give a little love to the Swedes, man. Look at this. I've only seen some better days in paint work, but still a sick car. Imagine a drift wagon. Be a sick build. Then a little 5 Series. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. For the record, for the boys. Supra or ZR1? Good answer, good answer for the boys. We got a little Lancer Evo though, looking good. Allie likes the Evos. Nice little BBS wheels on it, pretty clean. We got the red Mark IV Supra, also super clean, I can't deny that. I think these are some CCWs as well, but I could be wrong, I can't really see those center caps. But then we got the C6 ZR1 in white, already off to a good start. But these wheels on this car are sick as well. He's got some signature forged on here. Looks like an 18 in the back so he can fit that meat back there. But I like that uh, brushed silver look on the white. That is a super, super classy and clean look. And a nice little F30 3 Series on some ESRs. But look! Can't get enough of this LS9 goodness. All right, this guy's got the Tilty Wheel game on lock. This 370 is clean though. I like those wheels. Oh! VQ boys, I got you. I'll show you some love. 90s G-Wagon in green. Oh, I love it. So the irony is uh, is is here. I'm feeling the C6's pain. We got the Urus parked up right here, but look at the C6's plate. It sums up exactly how I feel. Seeing somebody roll up in a Lambo SUV. Same, brother. 
So we got the little uh, GT3 here looking good in white. But I do see something over yonder that I really like. We got an Audi wagon. Looks like an RS4 Avant maybe? RS4 on Porsche wheels. Super sick, dude. Not the kicks, bro. They've been up there for a minute, though. One of the soles is falling off. <laughs> so, uh, here's a car. I don't even know if I'm saying the name right because I never see them. Got the Toyota Truno? Sprinter Truno? I don't know. I, I, I This is a car, another guy, like, JD and boys, help me out here. I don't know what I'm talking about. So please let me know if this car has significance. It looks cool. Nice and a little clean and red on the white Volks. On the raised Volk T37s, looking good. I mean, I like it. And this Porsche sounds pretty nice, too. Oh, the RS4 left. I didn't even see him. Clean the last 2000, the white on the teal, looking good. You're not low, he's low. I'm not low in this car, but I was in the vet. But we're about to go, boys. So, uh... Put my coffee down, we'll do a little outro. Alrighty boys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I don't even know if this is gonna be a 10 minute long video, but there's some cool cards out here nonetheless. We got to bring the Turbo Z01 out to something and see what people thought of it. Um, but we're gonna roll out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, shop cars across Texas, ends of the pup, 20% off. I'll catch you later, peace. Alrighty boys, so change of plans. Um, that end of Catalina was not the end of the video. We are on our way to a little photo shoot with the Camaro. Uh, get some sick pictures of it so we can get it listed up for sale for HPC. If you're interested, $70,000 takes it. It is a fountain racing engine, 427 cubic inch V8 with mid-mounted twin 76 millimeter turbos. Uh, complete race car, but it still does have AC and a radio and everything like that. And uh, I mean, you can't get any better than 1500 horsepower with a little bit of creature comforts left, right? All righty, let's get it. Nothing too bad. Keep in mind, it's only on four pounds of boost as well. All right, we've made it here to the highly undisclosed locations. We got Alpha Visuals putting in the work. The 1500 horsepower Z01 here. I'm gonna kill myself getting in and out of this car, dude. The roll cage, I'm like, I'm, I'm big. Like, I, I, I gotta figure something out to build a race car. But uh, look at this location. It's pretty cool. Industrial looking, concrete barriers galore. Z01 looking pretty.